Gamers, get ready to rumble. Intel's finally back in the GPU game with their brand new ARC B580 series graphics cards. These babies promise to shake things up, boasting impressive performance at competitive prices. But are they truly a force to be reckoned with? In this video, we're diving deep into the ARC B580 series, putting them to the test with some hardcore gaming benchmarks and seeing if they can truly be thrown in Buckle up, this is about to get intense. Vivian Lee, Intel Vice President and General Manager of Client Graphics, talks about Intel's new graphics cards, ARC B580 series. The new Intel ARC B series GPUs are the perfect upgrades for gamers. They deliver leading performance per dollar and a great 1443 gaming experience with XESS2, second generation ray tracing engines, and XMX AI engines. We're delighted to be joined by more partners than ever so that gamers have more choice in finding the perfect design. Intel's newly launched graphics. at 1440p resolution, with certain gaming titles experiencing an astonishing boost in speed of up to 78%. Priced attractively at $249, it stands out as a highly competitive option for budget-conscious gamers, offering exceptional performance for 10 The specifications of the 3580 include 12GB of GDDR6 memory, provides a solid basis for competitive performance in this category. The Intel ARC B580 series is packed with multiple essential features that aim to deliver both high performance and efficiency, catering to a diverse audience that includes not just gamers, but also content creators and professionals in graphics-intensive fields. At its core, the series is constructed upon Intel's innovative XEHPG architecture, which has been specifically developed with gaming and high-performance graphical rendering in mind. Performance-wise, the B580 considerably outshines its predecessors, with benchmark tests indicating a robust increase of up to 24% faster performance at 1440p compared to the older ARC A750 model. This kind of powerful performance positions the B580 very effectively for both 1080p gaming scenarios and capable handling of certain 1440p gameplay situations. In addition to impressive performance statistics, the B580 is outfitted with a substantial 12GB of GDDR6 memory that operates seamlessly on a 100GB This configuration ensures that the GPU has ample bandwidth and capacity for even the most demanding gaming experiences and graphics-intensive applications. Particularly noteworthy aspect of the ARC B580 is its support for hardware-accelerated ray tracing and AI-driven features, which significantly enhance visual quality and realism in compatible gaming types. This level of enhancement allows for more immersive gameplay experiences, bringing graphics to life in a remarkable way. Beyond its powerful gaming capabilities, the B580 GPU also incorporates a suite of advanced media features, including robust support for AV1 encoding and decoding processes. This functionality proves particularly beneficial for gamers and content creators engaged in streaming activities, as it streamlines workflows and improves video quality. Furthermore, Intel's comprehensive software ecosystem, which includes the Intel Art Control software plays an integral part in the overall performance optimization of the GPU. This software allows users to fine-tune individual game settings and facilitates a smooth installation of the latest driver updates, ensuring that users always get the best With a competitive price point hovering around $249, the B580 is specifically aimed at gamers with budget constraints, similar to the pricing strategy for the RX 6600, which is typically found within the same price range. On the other hand, the RX 6700 XT is generally priced higher, positioning the B580 as a more appealing and accessible choice for those operating on a tighter financial plan. Moreover, the inclusion of 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory combined with a 192 bit bus gives the B580 a slight advantage over the RX 
ARC 3580 series emerges as a solid and pure option for gamers who are on the lookout for competitive performance and how they can cross-play effectively against various budget models from AMD, particularly with the most recent games that make great games. Nevertheless, the established ecosystem that AMD has built up over time, alongside its reputation for robust driver support and overall efficiency, may make its graphics card offerings more attractive choices for certain users. The B580 graphics cards utilize the BMG G21 GPU die, featuring 160 vector engines, translating to 2,560 shaders, along with 20 texture samplers and 10 pixel backends, equating to 160 TMUs and 80 ROPs. While Intel hasn't specified a base clock, the GPU peaks at 2,850 MHz, typically running around 2,670 MHz during gaming. It has a 192-bit memory interface for GDDR6 RAM, with a limited edition model using 19 gig gig of GDDR6 chips, yielding an effective bandwidth of 456 gig per second and 12 gigabytes of memory, which is ample for our tech. The card consumes 190 watts and connects via a single 8-pin PCIe power supply, allowing for overclocking heavy. The design is simple, featuring a black exterior and dual fan, with various models from Intel's partners like Acer and ASRock. The rear I.O. includes three display ports and one HDMI 2.1. We tested the B580 on an ASUS ROG Maximus Z690 Hero motherboard with an Intel Core i9-12900K, 32GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a 1TB Corsair MP600 Pro NVMe SSD, all powered by a 1500 watt Corsair HX1500 IPSU running Windows 11. At $249, the B580 competes with AMD's RX 7600, $269, and NVIDIA's RTX 4060, $299. The A-series cards include the A770-349, A750-289, and A580-179, with the B580 expected to outperform the A750 despite the latter having more shaders. In synthetic tests, the B580 excelled in 3D mark, matching the RTX 4060 Ti and performing similarly to the RX 7700 XT. However, it lagged behind in Luxmark, where it was on par with the RTX 4060 but slower than previous Intel ARC cards. In Unigine's superposition, the B580 again performed closely to the RTX 4060 Ti. Despite having fewer ray tracing units than the A750, the B580's units are reportedly faster, suggesting strong performance in ray tracing games. In F122, the B580 significantly outperformed the RX 7600 and competed closely with the RTX 4060, showing varying advantages at different resolutions. Frame generation technology didn't reverse the performance gap, with the B580 outperforming the RTX 4060 Ti at a higher resolution. In Returnal, the B580 matched the RX 7700 XT and outperformed the RTX 4060 Ti at 4K, revealing the limitations of AMD's ray tracing hardware and the RTX 4060's 128-bit memory interface. In Cyberpunk 2077, the B580 tied with the RX 7700 XT, outperforming the A750 and RX 7600, and slightly surpassing the RTX 4060 at lower resolutions, but frame rates remained unplayable for 1080p without the disk setting. With DLSS and FSR enabled, the RTX 4060 showed a noticeable advantage over the B580, but this was not consistent across other tests. In Guardians of the Galaxy, NVIDIA cards led, but the RTX 4060 was only slightly faster at 1080p and slower at 4K, resulting in a tie. In non-ray tracing games, AMD's GPUs became more competitive. In Total War Three Kingdoms, the RX 7600 outperformed the B580 at 1080p, but they tied at 1440p, with the B580 excelling at 4K. The RTX 4060 narrowly won at 1080p, but lagged behind at 4K. The B580 excelled in Shadow of the Two Order, leading over the RX 7600 and RTX 4060, especially at higher resolutions. However, it struggled in Far Cry 5, where the RX 7600 and RTX 4060 outperformed it at 1080p. had initial driver issues, but performance has improved, particularly in legacy games. While it struggled in Bioshock Infinite at 1080p, it matched the RX 768 and RTX 460 at 1440p before outperforming them at 4K. None of the tested GPUs managed 60 FPS at 4K in the resolution, which is disappointing. The B580 succeeded in Sleeping Dogs, outperforming the RX 7600 and RX 7600 XT, though it fell slightly behind. But Intel's progress is notable, making the B580 a viable option for older games. Power consumption testing showed that the B580 is efficient with improved peak power draw compared to its predecessors. However, comparing its efficiency against the RX 7600 and RTX 3060 is complex, as performance and power draw vary widely across games. The B580 may be more efficient for frame in some titles, but its overall
overall power draw suggests it could be less efficient in general. To sum up, Intel's new ARC V580 series graphics cards are strong contenders in the mid-range market, particularly for 1080p full HD gaming. The V580 can run most titles at ultra settings without ray tracing, offering excellent value compared to competitors like the GeForce RTX 4060 and Radeon RX 7600. Priced around $249, it stands out in the current graphics card landscape, outperforming rivals at similar price points. However, users should check specific performance metrics and compatibility for their gaming setups. This wraps up today's video. See you in the next video with a new and interesting topic.